Hey guys, we're here in Granville, Tennessee and with Randall Clemens and he's going to be telling us about the T.B. Sutton General Store. The T.B. Sutton Store was built in 1880 by the Cooper family and they operated until 1925 when it was purchased by Mr. T.B. Sutton for $2,500. Uh, Mr. Sutton had been raised here. His father was a town blacksmith. He had worked some in the store, but he took the store to another level. Uh, he added the room on the right to it, became his feed and flower room. Uh, he had a barber shop in it. He was the first John Deere dealer in this part of Middle Tennessee. There was nothing that he did not sell in this store, uh, including having an insurance office and a barber shop in it. Uh, he operated the store until 1970. Miss Sutton had passed away. His health had become bad, and he put metal over the front doors and, and windows and closed the store. And for the next 30 years, it remained closed with the exception of one year there was an auction barn in it. And during that time, they put all the contents on the right side of the building, and over time, the building fell on the right. Everybody thought the store was beyond repair when a couple came here in 2000. We had began a museum in 1999 and we began a car show and they came to see the cars and fell in love with the store. This was Harold Sutton and his wife Beverly. Harold's father was T.B. Sutton as well, no kin. But as a result of that, he wanted to purchase the store and it was owned by Mr. Sutton's grandchildren in North Carolina and Texas. And he was able to purchase it. He brought a crane in, he cabled uh, the building. He spent some $200,000 restoring it. Everything in this store is original. He, he was very fortunate in that the fact the building had not leaked, it had all the contents in it. So what you see today on the National Historical Register is the T.B. Sutton store that is totally original with the exception of a few tables and chairs mm -hmm. and a player piano that we have in the dining room. That looked like the countertops were original. They are all original, yeah. yes ma'am. And I just love the front of the store. This store uh, was chosen by the Taste of the South is the number one store to see in 2018. It was chosen by Country Living Magazine uh, as one of the 10 most charming general stores in America. So it has received a lot of publicity because it is very unusual with a balcony like it has on the inside and being original as well. Well, Randall, who operates and owns the store today? Well, Mr. Sutton operated the store from the time that he purchased it uh, until 2007. And uh, he did it some on weekends. He began to experiment a little bit with bluegrass music. We have the Uncle Jimmy Thompson Bluegrass Festival here in May. Uncle Jimmy was the first performer on the Grand Ole Opry, and he was born here in the Granville community. Uh, he had some success with that bluegrass music. But in 2007, he and Miss Beverly realized that they could never make it the tourist attraction they had hoped due to their age. And so they decided that they would give the store to the Granville Museum. The Granville Museum had started in 1999. We were operated by a 10 member board. We were open on Saturday afternoons. Uh, he had two requirements with the gift, that we had to operate it Wednesday through Saturday and that we had to do a Saturday night bluegrass show. Oh. Uh, we were able to enlist 50 other volunteers and we opened on April the 5th of 2008 with a Saturday night bluegrass show, but we went further than his requirements. We put dinner with it and we put it on radio. Uh, the show that we now have, what we have tonight here, will be broadcast in every state in the United States, wow. every country in the world, and to our military around the world sometime in the next seven days. Wow, that's amazing. Different bluegrass group each week and great food, and so it's kind of like going to the Grand Ole Opry, but you have dinner with it as right. well. And Mike and I are going to eat and catch the show tonight. <laughs> we already uh, got our tickets. We have great, great food. And uh, we are amazed how the show has continued to grow, the popularity of it, and as a result of the store and the Bluegrass Hour, you know, you now see what we have in the 10 different venues that we have here in Granville. We are a 501c3. We're operated by 237 volunteers that give up their time to operate everything in Granville. Hey everybody, welcome to T.B. Sutton General Store in Granville, Tennessee. I've got a book here where you come in, you <coughs> sign. Hey, look at this place.
here they give you the history of the tour of the town. Mm -hmm. Historic places to visit. And there's some apple butter. These are the original floors too, I think they said. Oh, okay. Snapping and popping and crackling. And the original counter shelves. Look at the old register there. Yeah, like that. Sutton Homestead, Chris Mill Corn. Look, I have a R. Mayberry cookbook. And the t shirts. So you got some candies. And you have to look beyond this counter to see all the stuff back behind it here. Look at those signs. <laughs> These scales. How many of y'all used to get these? Got some fudge here too. These counters. So this is voted number one Best Life magazine voted Granville. The number one small town in the U.S. that feels like stepping back in time. Look at that Dixie made syrup. The guy on the ladder. That's a cool painting. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have dinner right here. Yes, I have. At five o'clock, and then there's some bluegrass music. Yes. We invite you all to come along. We already have our tickets. Yeah, I think it's one meat, three vegetables, some bread, dessert. Should be good country cooking. Yes, it should be. But we're turning around the store right now, and we end up with uh, being back here tonight for some music and a meal. Yes. It's an old Coca-Cola machine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember that? Casket parts sold here in the 1800. Look at that. Now for Cook. Look at this uh, Sutton Old Time Music Hour, Bluegrass Music Weekly, Saturday nights. Six of the day. Hmm. You can get some lunch back here too, can't you? Mm -hmm. Here's a stage where they'll be singing in a little bit. <clears throat> Granville, Tennessee, established 1836. Knickknacks all back in there. You can get your coveralls. Mm -hmm. Mike, they have hats in here. Right. I noticed. Some games, old timey games. A visit to Mayberry. What is this back here? This is table. This is part of the dinner. Mm -hmm. So we're going up the steps. <laughs> Show you all the what it's like from up here. Creaking. Can you hear the floors creaking? Isn't it really? Well, first looks like some fall things. Oh, look at that. And some stuff for your table. That's pretty. Some little knickknacks. Here's some more table runners. <laughs> Christmas stuff. Oh, here's a throw that has Granville on it. Established 1837. Mm -hmm. What's this right here? Oh, uh, Sewing machine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Look at these old dolls. I guess they're old. I don't know. Y'all tell us. These magazines? Life. March 23, 
62. Opening up the desert for living. Nixon's own story. It's long and big, but... Yeah, they were huge. This is the post. Sorry, post. Okay, so down this side, there's uh, lots of different stuff. You can see here. It's like some tools and... Okay, enjoy the item. Enjoy the display of the items that were sold in TB Sutton General Store 1880-1970. So like some farm equipment, seed, fairies. <coughs> hmm. Oh, look at there. Oh, this has been worn. Hair tonic. Castor oil. Look at that. Cattle. And some books. Alright, there's the Ben Sutton workshop. We gotta see that, Karen. The workshop. There he is. Look at that. Cheese. There must have been a box of cheese came in. And they do have some Christmas items up here on top. And then another whole artis artisan's gallery back through there. If you guys can check out, good luck. The experience there, wasn't it? Yeah, this is a bed and breakfast right here. If you'd like to stay. Dinner time. Yes. We'll be back. We're gonna bring you something, okay? Bring you something to eat. You be good boy. <laughs> yeah, but this is gonna be some good country eating. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from where we're camping there, isn't it? Yes. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. We're gonna check in, get our seats. So they moved the tables in here mm -hmm. and have chairs on all Okay. The crowd's gathering. Here goes the bass fiddle in. And the acoustics were so fantastic, and the owner of the store said, Hey, 
you know what? Would you be willing to come back and maybe play some bluegrass and maybe we could gather up some people? And Sutton Old Time uh, Music Hour was born and it goes every Saturday night, uh, rain, shine, and in between. So enjoy the rest of your dinner, have some dessert for me, and we'll see you out there in a few minutes. What do you think? It was good. I thought the food was really good. It's country cooking. Yeah, I thought the meatloaf was really good. The mashed potato smooth. <laughs> Everything was good. It Beans. really was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you're my person. Get to sit and meet some new friends. How do y'all, if y'all watch this? From lots of different places. So, got time for the radio show to start. Yeah, so the way they did their food is um, they bring it out family style and have it sitting on the table and then we passed it around. But we could ask our server for more. Anybody from our table could ask our server for more of one of the items. Reserve your seat, go back and eat, and when you're finished, come out and yeah. get ready for the show. And they do have a couple of rows of seats, a few seats in the back of this section for people who just come in and they didn't buy dinner or anything, they're just coming. Yeah, music. so you can just come for the show if you yeah. want to, the bluegrass hour. But it's first come, first serve, so yeah. as far as the seats. And you can get these, you can get them online also. So, how many people have been to Sutton Old Time Music Hour before? Raise your hand. Uh, several of you, huh? It's good. How this, how y'all doing? I've seen you down here before, man. It's good to see you. Here, how this works is the band is going to play till not midnight. I mean, we're going to play just a few songs to warm up with, and then we'll start the recording portion after just a couple of minutes of break. Got a fantastic group. We're going to go up to the Wilder Resort Corner Stage and give a good welcome to the Center Hill Ramblers. Let's hear it for them. You're from Whitwell. Right. Awesome. I'm from Whitwell. What's your name? Charles Higgins. Charles Higgins. Well, it's nice to meet you, Charles. Well, it's good to be out here. I've been up here a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my all of my people is from right around there. Even the ones that when they first come in this country. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's still there. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you too, hey guys, thanks for coming along with us on this adventure. Granville, Tennessee, T.B. Sutton General Store. It's a great place. Yeah, you really need to come to Granville. You can spend the day, you can actually spend the night in a bed and breakfast, or you can camp like we are. Yes. And, um, man, get you a nice meal here, mm -hmm. tour the place. You could just yes. make a little vac vacation day out of it. Yes, but just going around the general store and seeing everything, the original floors, the original countertops, and hearing the history that yeah. Randall told us about, and then tonight being able to have a delicious meal and meet people, you know, break bread with other people, mm -hmm. and uh, hear some good music, bluegrass. It, yeah. It was really a neat experience. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. We appreciate you. Yes. Thanks for watching and enjoying this adventure with us until next time we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. everybody.